garden gals and guys we're back here at bad earth backyard farm and i want to share with you uh, a little problem with tomatoes okay and this is probably something that you will see and my goal is to share with you all of my gardening triumphs as well as my failures or problems and in this case it's a problem okay so i have my tomatoes in my greenhouse and yesterday was easter and before i left i forgot to open up my vents and you can see right now it's um a little past nine o'clock in the morning and you can see the temperature there is almost 90. by the height of the day it's going to be about 100 degrees in here i usually come out in the morning and open that top part there the triangular part that is part of the door it can open up i usually open that up um, as well as this vent here to let you know some cross ventilation occur so that it doesn't get too too hot in here because even heat loving plants over 100 degrees with no uh, air coming through is a bad thing so you can see here it's kind of hard because of the sun but you can see my plants have some they look white and here's another one you see the leaves there it looks kind of white it's kind of hard to see because of the way the Sun is but that's kind of it's kind of white um, let me try and get something to put it up against let's see hmm. okay just venture with me a little bit here my new tripod is on the way for my camera so that I don't have to constantly move things around but I'm gonna take this to try and show you what's going on here okay give me some color contrast okay I don't know if you can see that much better but you see that white there on the plant okay basically what causes that is that's called sun scalding and what happens i just realized i broke a tomato plant <laughs> sad i'm gonna try and fix that i think i can fix it anyway i digress okay so that's called sun scalding and what happens is when um the sun when there's just too much sun at once um like if you're if you put your plants out into the garden and you haven't hardened them off uh they will get sunburned basically is what happens and how it happened in here is because obviously there's a lot of moisture in here you can see the condensation on the windows and the moisture is constantly dripping onto the plants so when the water drips onto the plants and then the Sun hits the plant it's kind of the same as if you took a magnifying glass and um, you know positioned it just right so that you like when you burn like an ant with a magnifying glass or if you burn a piece of paper with a magnifying glass it has the same effect so what happened was the moisture on the windows dripped down onto the tomatoes it got really hot in here I forgot to open the windows so this was my fault so I basically have some burning on my leaves now you do not want to take these off until your plants grow more leaves because even though they look bad they are still providing photosynthesis for the plant so you don't want to take them off until you have, you know, a, quite a few more branches that have grown onto the plant to um, supplement what these leaves were doing. So you can leave them alone for right now, and then once your plants get a little bit bigger, you can then pinch them off. So this is a good thing to note um, for tomatoes. If you have a greenhouse, remember on even if it's only going to be about 60 or 70 degrees outside, remember that your greenhouse gets at least 20 degrees hotter inside so you want to open up windows and let some cross ventilation in the other way that this can happen you can see these white leaves is if you happen to take your seedlings and plant them outdoors if you've grown from seed and then you just take them and put them out in your garden and you didn't do what's called hardening off which is basically where you set the plants out like one hour the first day in a kind of shaded spot that doesn't get too much wind and then two hours the next day and then three hours a day after that and you keep going each day until the plants have managed to stay outside all day if you don't do that process and you just plant your seedlings into the ground whether you grew them from seed yourself 
or whether you just bought them from a nursery and it happens to be a very windy day, that will also cause the, um, the scalding on the, the plant leaves of the tomato. So if you have this, not to worry, your plant will recover. Uh, and as I said, don't pinch off the leaves until some more branches have sprouted and established themselves really well because even though they look sickly, they are still producing photosynthesis for the plant. So there you have it. That's another little garden struggle that I am dealing with. But not to worry, my plants are going to be okay. I'm just going to fix this one little plant that I broke. I think if I kind of lay it in the ground, it will probably work. So that's it for now, garden gals and guys. Until next time, happy gardening.